In this country, it's the third day of a partial government shutdown, and there's no end in sight. Our White House correspondent, Yamiche Alcindor, is here with an update. Okay, Yamiche, so where do things stand now in negotiations between the White House and Congress? Negotiations have stalled, and it's looking like the shutdown is going to last into 2019. Incoming Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney said he doesn't expect that this is going to be resolved very quickly. He said that the White House is willing to come off the initial $5 billion amount, which is what the president was asking for the border wall. But there's no specific number in sight, and they're about at least 2 to $3 billion apart when it comes to Democrats and Republicans on this. I want to read to you a statement that the Democratic leaders, Senator Chuck Schumer and Representative Nancy Pelosi, put out today. They said, different people from the same White House are saying different things about what the president would accept or not accept to end his Trump shutdown, making it impossible to know where they stand at any given moment. So we're at a stalemate. So President Trump, uh, a couple weeks ago, I think, said, I will take the blame for this shutdown. Uh, but more recently, he's blamed the Democrats. We're on day three right now. What's he saying today? The president is saying a lot. He, there was a tweet storm going on, but I want to read to you one specific tweet that I think encapsulates what the, what's the president thinking today. He said at about, he said this morning on Christmas Eve, I am all alone, poor me, in the White House waiting for the Democrats to come back and make a deal on desperately needed border security. At some point, the Democrats not wanting to make a deal will cost our country more money than the border wall we are all talking about. Crazy. So the president is, in fact, alone in the White House. The first lady and his son and his son Barron are going to be flown, or, or at least flying back from Florida to be with him for Christmas. But at the, at, there, is, there was a point today where he was sitting in the White House while all the lawmakers in the Senate and the House were out. Um, he did meet with the Secretary of Homeland Security today. But as of, as of right now, the president is still waiting for the shutdown to end. And you just mentioned those, those lawmakers are out. I mean, in the past, we've seen lawmakers be absolutely uh, urgent about responding to the shutdown. Why aren't we seeing that urgency this time? Well, it's only 25% of the government that's being affected. The other thing is that government workers have been out of work since the shutdown began. It began on midnight on Saturday. Today, which is Christmas Eve, was a federal holiday that, that the Trump created um, by executive order. Christmas is also an executive order or a federal holiday. And then you have Wednesday where furloughed workers are going to start feeling the pain. The other thing is that the, the White House the, this is saying, the incoming chief of staff is saying that the check that is actually going to be impacted is January 11th. Um, also, museums around the country and in D.C. are still open, so people are able to do that. So it's a little different than in the past. But it looks like this shutdown may last in 2019. Yeah. Michelle Sindor, thank you so much. Thanks so much.